give you the forward pass in green. So we start with zero, zero plus one. So the activity A will finish on one. I move one to the next activity. So uh, I have one plus five, six, six move to the next activity. And uh, sorry, let me do something here because I, to reflect better the, because that can create a confusion later. And here we have activity six plus three, nine and nine. Uh, I move to the following activities. Nine, activity G, nine plus two, 11. Nine plus activity E, nine plus one, 10. Activity F, nine plus one, 10. And then I have here 10, 10, 11, because it's a forward pass, I'll be moving the uh, highest, 11 plus one, 12. So that's the forward path. On the backward path, we start from the back, from the back, so 12 minus 1, 11. We move 11 for the late finish of all predecessors, and you do 11 minus 2, 9, 11 minus 1, 10, 11 minus 1, 10, and now we have to move for the predecessor, that is a bust activity, so you have to use the, uh, the lowest number, 9 minus 3, 6, move 6 here, 6 minus 5, 1, 1 minus 5, 0. That's the backward path, okay? That's the backward path of that network. And here we have, we have, uh, we can uh, identify as well the slacks. So the slack is 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. What are we doing now? Is moving the information from the AON to the gun chart, to the gun chart. How we prepare the gun chart? The gun chart, we go here and see the information. The first thing that I want you to fix on that table, on that table, because that table on the exercise is different than the table in the book. Okay, the table in the book. What is the difference? Can you see that the numbers of the table in the book, in the book, they are right on the line, the vertical line? Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see that? And here, what's happened with the lines? The lines are in the middle of the square. That is not good. Okay, that is not good. So the first thing I'm doing here is removing all the numbers from the middle of the square, okay, from the middle of the square, see that I raised, and put the numbers on the top of the lines. Can you see now? The numbers now are on the top of the line. That's very important to draw the gun chart. That's very important, okay? Uh, without that, your gun, you have trouble to draw the gun chart manually. You always put the number on the top of the line. To get from here to here, you have to put the numbers on the top of the line. So what I do, take activity A goes from zero to one. I go here, activity A, that's identified top, and I put the, the number here, okay? Shadow, painted, or whatever, the first square. Can you see? Yeah? Now let's go for the second activity. Activity B starts on one, and finish on six. Again, the one here, and because you now you have the, the one on the vertical line, that's I have to do backwards here. Sorry, I'm not drunk, okay? Yeah, but anyway, so so activity B start on one, goes up to five. What I'll be doing? I'll be assuring here from one to five. Can you see? That's activity B. I took the information from the AON and put on the on the gun chart. So let's go for activity C. Activity C start on on six. That is here. Okay, six. Oh, sorry, here six. And goes three days up to nine. Activity. Okay, three days up to nine. So duration three start on six, finish on nine. And then we have activity G from 11 to 12. And that is 
a gun chart. Okay, that is the gun chart. What I did here is just so we went from uh, the activity list, then we moved to compute the, uh, to compute the project network and find out the er the times for each activity. Then we move to the Gantt chart. That is the project schedule. That is the project schedule. Okay? That is the project schedule. That's why we call scheduling. So you have uh, four steps. Step one, estimate duration. That you do in the WBS dictionary. Step two, uh, understand the activities relationships, predecessors, uh, constraints. That's step two. Step three, draw the AON, the project network, and compute times. Step four, create the project schedule using a gun chart. We work hard to help you to get better marks, be prepared for job interviews, and excel in work meetings. You can send your questions in the comment area below. I will be pleased to answer all of them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe Américo e-learning.